It's not. Look, you almost. You, we almost lost our podcast. We almost lost they the whole thing. They almost took it away from us. Who did? You know. What kind of the police? The fucking powers that be. Was it secret police? <laughs> Was it PC police? I don't know, dude. What like, type of police do you think is going to shut down this podcast? There are about five types of police we've got to look out for. <laughs> <laughs> I would guess. I think the military police. Mm-hmm. I get real nervous about the military police, dude. I don't know yeah, why. Yeah, you know, because it's like. Uh, it's like a double whammy, you know? You got you got troops, you got cops. Ooh, boy. They're teaming up. I know they have the big, they wear like the old army hats that say like MP on it. I just, <laughs> I just imagine they all have like sniper rifles. I think that they probably, I feel like they don't, I don't know if they have sniper rifles or don't have guns at all. I don't know <laughs> <laughs> what the military police are. Yeah, I don't know what I would say either. I mean, let me look deep within my heart and maybe, find an answer. I think they're just on bases, maybe? I would imagine that, um... The military police, they're probably, like, in fucking tricorn hats. A what? Tricorn hats, What's you know? No, I don't know. Like the triangle hats from the, the Revolutionary War? Oh, like Quakers? I guess Qua- do Quakers? Yeah, yeah, something like that. Oh, like Quaker hat? Probably they're, they're the one that they're like, you know, you guys are the OG troops. You guys are going to be Damn. classic troops. Dude, the Revolutionary War, because we were talking mm-hmm. about the fighting in Barry Lyndon. Revolutionary War is so funny because, like, here's what's weird about the Revolutionary War is the whole reason we won is because the British guys were like, you guys got to fucking line up and wait to be shot. Like, you, I know that it was scary to, like, be in D-Day, mm-hmm. but, like, all war before that, it's just, like, if you just you just have to look at where you are in the line, it's like, oh, fuck, I'm not ever going to see my family again, am I? <laughs> but oh, but then, like, I guess, did we learn guerrilla warfare from the Indians? I don't want to get near the Indians again, but I oh, think... Oh, yeah, we, we got to stop speculating on the Native Americans. I think we might have learned guerrilla warfare... Uh, I think we did because From we showed up Indians. here and we saw them. And we're like, well, they have to go clearly. And they're, and they're like, so we're like, all right. So um, when are they all gonna line up? Yeah, when are they gonna? <laughs> but all they know about rules, is like, mm-hmm. nah, dude, they don't even know about fucking clothes. Yeah, <laughs> we saw them planting their corn. They're like, okay, so they they know what it they know what a line is. Yeah, <laughs> yes. <laughs> but yeah, it's so, but what's so funny? The Revolutionary War is like we beat the British by doing it by like high, by like you see people shooting. It's like ah, fuck, you know, get under something. <laughs> which people weren't doing. Yeah, or behind something, or, behind or on something. top of something. But then in the Civil War, we went back to standing in a fucking line and just waiting to die. Did we? Yes, we did. I yeah. haven't seen footage of the Civil War in a while. There, well, I guess I I've mean, never seen footage of the actual Civil War. You, you, m- many are with you, Brendan. No one has seen footage of the... Yeah, no, watch like a... No, like, like a movie. Glory. Yeah. Watch Glory. There's another one. There's another Civil War movie. Yeah, mm-hmm. they like they like stood... Uh, I mean, maybe some of the, maybe some of the bad rebels were uh, were running around, but could have been. I I seem to remember them standing. Alive. Dude, war strategy is so dumb. Yeah. You're listening to Dan Carlin's hardcore history. <laughs> that's what it is. <laughs> yeah, it this be... this that's what this podcast is. Is it's just shitty hardcore history? It, it... Where we're just like, I don't know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> Dan Carlin's just like, yeah, they stood in a fucking line, <laughs> <laughs> like a bunch of retards. <laughs> Yeah. All, uh, b- listen, earlier people earlier than us were ret- they had less information, so they were retarded. It's true. Being in the past is a form of being a retard. Mental retardation. I it's, suppose. Yeah, dude. Uh, if you brought if you brought 15 ju- episodes in, you know what this is. If you know what it is. <laughs> if you brought ju- dude, if you brought George Washington to 2018 and uh, made him take like, you know, <laughs> well this is not mm-hmm. true. <laughs> but I was going to say yeah. t- George Washington make him do like he didn't know what the fuck geometry was, right? There's no way. He, uh, you know, <laughs> <laughs> I think I don't like, think math has changed that much in the last. It, we have been there have been some years. they've been spearheading some new discoveries in math, dude. Tell okay, what? Tell me the new the big news with math recently. They got into the fucking you know. I don't think that George Washington knew about. <laughs> I don't think he knew about a million. Mm-hmm. And the crazy thing is, you know, uh, a thousand was the most anybody could come up with. Okay, so civil war, and then going forward, you know, we we move away from the lines, and now you look at modern warfare, and it's just it's a big robot in the sky, and everyone's down there in a damn line. It sucks. <laughs> We're fucking just... move around, strafe. Dude, the robot, <laughs> the robot in the sky. I think that. 
I retweeted it on the Coward Hour Twitter. I've uh, I've seen a compelling <laughs> thread of evidence. <laughs> I like when I like, when I find out like days later what you've tweeted. <laughs> it's so about. funny. We were watching uh, an American Werewolf in London with Dom, and I just hear midway through the movie, I just hear Nick. Did you retweet Donald Trump on the Coward Hour Twitter? <laughs> I was like, yeah, it was. It wasn't. I wasn't like pro. <laughs> it was him. a pretty good tweet. It was a pretty good tweet. Yeah, you know, I'd, I'd throw it a like. <laughs> yeah, but I, I got, I got, and this is from a guy. So I got into this thread on Twitter because we're in California. The fires are raging. Mm-hmm. We're out here in the middle. I have missed the fires. <laughs> we don't get <laughs> snow days. So like, the equivalent of a snow day out here is like when uh, the entire like mountains behind the house are on fire, and you just kind of like stare at that till two a.m. It is nice. It's like Christmas. It's not. It feels like there's a something's happening. Everyone's out of the house. Like, mm-hmm. dude, that was. I remember the last it's like New Year's Eve every was. day. <laughs> dude, the last time I was the fires were happening in the neighborhood, I was like out of the. I like met all my neighbors who I never met. Like I like got to know their names. They're like you should come over for dinner sometime, and I never did. But it was the fires really brought us together as a community. Mm-hmm. But anyway, I gotta start going. I can't wait till the fire gets closer. You're gonna love it, dude. Did you? <laughs> I know this sounds so crazy. Did I ever send you the pictures of when the fire uh, was like on the hill behind the Burbank house? No, we no. could we could see literally see the firemen fighting it. They were like they they were probably only like a hundred feet away from us or something. More than that, maybe like two hundred feet. But holy shit! Oh, it was crazy, dude. Yeah, Tim and I were outside. It was just like it was like being in hell, but it was cool, mm-hmm. <laughs> like a fun hell, kind of like a fun hell. And yeah, and yeah, and everyone was really nice. You know, kids were out in the streets. We were like, I met so many of my neighbors who I never spoke to again. <laughs> it was crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing about neighbors is uh, they're not friends. They could be. They could be, but they if there were only more disasters, <laughs> that's how we're going to unify. But I no to get I, this thread on Twitter, I retweeted it. This guy is a blue check mark, so he's obviously somebody. Mm-hmm. They've been posting these pictures about how like the fires they're like melting. Not to get into the whole melting steel beams thing, but they are. They're melting the steel beams of like bridges and like cars are like are like liquefying. Like like houses are gone, but they're not just gone. They're like incinerated. Like there's nothing left behind. And then people are getting these photos of a fucking laser coming out of the sky. <laughs> yeah, I have some questions about the sky laser. Dude, the sky laser photos, you're like, what the? F-? And it's a guy with blue check mark. Let me stress. <laughs> so you can't just make it up. Think of one wrong person with a blue check mark. You can't. It hasn't happened. Mm-hmm. It has yet to happen. That's why I don't have one. Yeah. Twitter has asked me to have one. They've said, can we please verify you? And I say, no, I'm just, I, I have to be humble here. And admit that I'm wrong sometimes. So I just I can't have that. I think there's a la- and they also have said that the 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 fires are weirdly happening in the same pattern of like a proposed new uh new form of like train for public transportation mm-hmm. in California. Yeah. Chinatown too, bitch. It, it all fucking adds up, dude. Mm-hmm. I can't wait until we catch the pedophile who's behind it. Dude, Laser Chinatown is <laughs> proving to be a worthy <laughs> sequel. <laughs> Chinatown 2000. Chinatown. Yeah. In my mind. We really need to go back to where the reboot of stuff was called 2000. Absolutely. It doesn't matter what year it is. It was just kind of sick to have Blues Brothers 2000. Oh, uh, I forgot about the that. The Willennium. All these things. You know, they were good. There were a bunch of, I feel like there were a bunch of N64 games that were just called 2000 as well. Yeah. Uh, so, actually, I just got a live update. Apparently, so the number of people missing in the campfire uh, has jumped to 631. This is insane. Hadn't nobody died, like, yesterday? How did it... The death toll is at 63. But that means, pr- if, like, 600 people are missing, and, the and you know, these lasers are leaving no trace <laughs> behind. <laughs> Dude, if, like, a thousand mm-hmm. people are dying from this fucking... That's crazy. Oh, man, that'd be sick if Donald Trump just invented new drones to just fight liberals. Yeah, He's that's just like, hilarious. what state didn't vote for me? All right. Rain down literal hellfire. Well, here's, I, what sucks is it's mostly been, the, I feel like the red parts of the state have kind of actually been getting it. Because yeah, California's yeah, pretty red, actually. Mm-hmm. It's just LA throws it all off. Oh my God, dude. This is crazy. <laughs> this is awesome. Yeah, this is a fun, um, I feel like we're being pretty leveled for how, how insane this theory is. It, uh, yeah, no, look. Mm-hmm. Uh, the theory's insane. It's just yeah. But it's you know what else was insane? A little theory called Watergate. Yeah, mm-hmm. and look at that—they were right. Yeah. This is exactly like Watergate. Little theory called the Iran Contra, you know. Yeah. And I think that Donald Trump started the fires personally with a laser. He totally did from space. Do you think that they d- he doesn't have that technology? He totally has the technology. Yeah, yeah, I think he does. People have been seeing UFOs all over the. I'm starting to get. I think we're coming right to it. If I can be honest, in terms <laughs> of. <laughs> there have been so many. The BBC is reporting so many UFO sightings. I'm just like, all right, fuck, man, I got to saddle up. 
Where do you get this news? Because every B- week you from, come from the BBC.co.uk, <laughs> where you they vet that stuff. How am I getting different news from you? I, Is I, it be? Oh, I know why. It's because I'm getting no news. Yeah, I look for the. It, it's yeah. like it's like I forgot that I have deliberately removed l- news from my life because. Anything that's not jokes isn't. <laughs> it's just a, like it's, Ugh. It's a I don't want to read careful analysis of current events. Got to read, dude. I, Tell I, me a damn zinger. <laughs> <laughs> I think that I think that our news is just like I like I I dig for my news a little bit more, right? But your news is like uh, it's like Nickelback, Avril Lavigne. I'm uh, <laughs> you got I, the I'm underground li- news. Yeah, I'm listening to like the Lumineers of news. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, like me, I go on. Uh, where do I go? Or the Associated Press. Yeah. Maybe I'll, I'll go on NPR.org, something like that. Right. You, you're going out in your community and you're you're speaking to a man in a ditch. I'm just I'm just getting wild speculations from the sun kill moon of news. <laughs> 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 this fucking, <laughs> from, you know, mm-hmm. from his little from his little uh, his all dirt no grass yard. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great sign. That is a, yeah, that is a funny part about LA. Is sometimes you'll see someone's entire yard is just dirt. And no one gets dirt. mad. And we're just like, yeah, that's how it's going to be. In West Hollywood, a lot of the grass is just, like, fake. It's oh, just really? Pla- yeah, yeah, yeah. If you go to, like, communities um, near, actually, where Dom and Amber used to live, um, their uh, their old house, all the grass was fake. It was all, like, plastic grass. I gotta get some fake grass. I should put it in, in, my, in the house. You do love fake plants. I do. Lo- I mean, I like real plants better, but I... I I can't have I I thought that the whole I know we talked about this off night, but I thought the whole theory behind like having plants in your room was like a living thing and like a sense of like responsibility. Right? Yeah, but I mean that's part of it. Like I'm sure I would get some sort of satisfaction out of uh trimming a bonsai or something like that. But I mean, aren't they like in schools now they're putting in like fake windows and shit, like in the basements? Well that's terif uh, are they doing that? How do you? This is I some think, deep. Like, this is some deep. They're making news. like fake windows out of screens because kids are. They're not. Damn. Did I make this up? No. I. Bl- I mean, I wouldn't fucking be surprised. Mm-hmm. Are they really doing this? That's insane. Yeah, because like, n- I'm not seeing any sunlight at all or anything green really bums you out. You're still not seeing fucking sunlight though, dude. You're seeing a screen. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Dude, I'm so worried about what's happening. I think I might be confusing Black Mirror with life. I'm like, oh, you know the fake win- the screens. <laughs> I bet there's some school. There's probably some schools doing that. Probably. This is just what we do now. We just <laughs> want to just be like, Nick. What do you reckon? It's just like, and then you tell me what I what you reckon might be true. Like, and then I go, Hmm. Well, I reckon this. I just say things like, Brendan, do you think the movie Prometheus happened? And you're like, I think it probably happened. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so, I'm in a period of my life right now where my brain is so malleable. Yeah, it's. You know what? You just have to start. Here, I I was in that period too, and what I started doing is I just like when I couldn't weigh uh, whether one thing was true over the other, I just picked one and then went with it confidently. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm deciding that. <laughs> any, I have new things to move mm-hmm. on to. I can't just. Yeah, yeah. You take the road less traveled, or and the you road never look back. The road more traveled. It just kind of depends on how I was feeling. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you just. Uh, or it's not really. I'd say with us, it's not even. A fork in the road. It's you're on the road, and that road ends. Right. And you can go left into the wilderness or right into the wilderness. Yeah, I'm fucked. Mm-hmm. I'll just go into the wilderness. Yeah. And what what might you find there? Perhaps beasts, ghouls. You have to be mentally mentally tough. Look, it doesn't matter. Like, uh, it doesn't you can be? It doesn't matter how right or how wrong you were throughout your life. When you're dead, it all goes away. So just like just go, go through life being wrong. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. I've been wrong before. I'll be wrong again. And you'll. It's important to that we keep the right to be wrong. I think. Yeah, you have to be able to be wrong. I mean, not wrong in the face of evidence, but yes, don't go crazy. Just, just to you're you're allowed to be ignorant and then learn. I feel. Yeah, yeah. Especially if it's funny. I think I should be able to hold whatever opinion is funniest forever. I've been doing that. It's pretty <laughs> great. It's pretty great. And, <laughs> and so I haven't lost any friends so far. Hmm. Yeah, well, you you have some sort of X factor that <laughs> makes you able to. <laughs> I have some fucking insane X factor. We're like, I'll 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 talk about this guy later and be like, I'm joking, I'm joking, but but also, <laughs> like, <laughs> I've read this whole thread and mm-hmm. why? Yeah, tell like, me why it's not true. You so you'll see Nick at a party and you know he's circling around, he's holding court, everyone's laughing. You're like, who's that guy? And they're like, that's Nick Aldershaw. And they're like, what's he talking about? <laughs> the Clintons. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just here's my thing. All the nobody has all this. Nobody, 
nobody actually has the information that they claim to represent, right? Like, if I start talking about the sky lasers, uh, I, and I'm just like, tell me why it's not true. People are just like, well, it's obviously ridiculous. I'm like, that, you didn't, not a, that's not a reason. Yeah. You didn't, you, that's not a good argument. It's ridiculous based off what? Based off of what? what you, how you think science and fire works? <laughs> I just read new information. Mm-hmm. Listen, scientists think they, lo- they know a lot about how science and fire works. They think that. But they don't, they fucking, well, but it's do, concealed. Do they know? There's a lot of scientific Because I think that I know a lot about fire. Yeah. And you probably do. Mm-hmm. I see it sometimes. Yeah, I see fire all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. Yeah. Look, Nick, we all, when we go to bed, close our eyes and see only fire until we open them again in the morning. Visions of fire. <laughs> All of us that's see That's REM sleep. You know, that's how you know when you're in REM sleep, right? <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. when it's just fire and screams. <laughs> you get the screams, too, right? I get the screams. Yeah, yeah. That's um. That means that you're growing physically. Oh, sick. Yeah. You know, REM sleep, you know, you're preserving your memories or whatever. Yeah. And then when you're growing physically larger, uh, you hear screams. That adds up. It adds I bu- up. I fully buy it. <laughs> it's just I used to I used to talk about this. this is such a mentally ill. It's podcast. so mentally ill, dude. But I used to talk about this like, because there's no way you can be as smart. Like you can have a high capa- You can learn a lot of things, right? Like you can have a high capacity for like the things mm-hmm. that you intake and like integrate as fact. But that doesn't mean like if they haven't been vetted. This is my biggest problem, right? Like I will spend five hours watching. Uh, like videos about like the Mothman or like proof that we faked the moon landing, and I don't necessarily believe it, but I still learned it. Yeah, you know what I mean. I've seen you do this, dude. And I, it's like I learned it, and I, oh god, you watched me. <laughs> One, I remember the day when you when you watched <laughs> me uh, watch like eight hours of videos on a SCP or whatever that creepy boss. I think we've actually talked about this before. Have we talked about? Yeah, it? Yeah, but Mothman's fucking sick, dude. Mothman is of so all the sick. cryptids. So sick. Mothman's definitely real. I watched a three-hour... Do- Dude, Indrid Cold, The Men in Black, it's all... It's documented. Blue Rose cases, my friend. Blue Rose cases, dude. They're real. And Mothman saved 50 miners in Germany. I read that headline. <laughs> I don't really have more information besides that. <laughs> there were pterodactyls in the Old West. There were. <laughs> you can't say that there weren't. Yeah. <laughs> Because people think they remember a photo of it that never existed. Right. Mm-hmm. There is a pterodactyl in Citizen Kane. Because they had to use, uh, when they're filming, like, the jungle scene, um, because that movie was actually made on a pretty small budget, so, like, the the screen that they had in the background to make it look like the jungle, it was actually from, like, a prehistoric movie. So if you watch Citizen Kane, there's, like, three pterodactyls, like, flying (laughs) through the back. (laughs) That's sick. I thought you were about to tell me that, like, while they were filming, one got caught in the background or something, and I was going to be like, all right, I guess I believe this now. No, 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 yeah. (laughs) I was about to just knowingly absorb a wrong fact. <laughs> or someone else would be like, do you think we could we do you think we could broil it? <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> but man, I can't wait to fucking eat dinosaurs. It'll happen. I assume that's coming. We're getting ready to I think I just read something <laughs> I gotta stop reading things. <laughs> <They're> <laughs> you gotta horrible. stop reading things. I think they're already doing some Jurassic Park shit where they're trying to like bring bring woolly mammoths back or something. Yeah, yeah, that seems true That's enough. See, I feel like I, 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 here's the thing. I'm pretty sure I read that in like Nat Geo Kids in fourth grade. So yeah, and you're like, have. I was reading the journals the other day. <laughs> <laughs> they definitely got around to it by now. <laughs> Man, I, I'm pretty sure the information that I am exposed to has steadily grown worse every single year of my life. Yeah, because I think we just start seeking out um, the funniest things. The funniest things, yeah. yeah. Can you imagine how wrong I'm going to be in five years? Uh, I mean, how wrong are we right now? So wrong. So wrong, dude. But if we you, don't have to. Yeah. We have no obligation to be right. It's true, but it does. it is kind of a bummer when we drop these, then the next day the, the, the DMs start rolling in yeah. with, with corrections. Well, sometimes we, sometimes you also get the DMs from, uh, from people who lean even harder into conspiracies <laughs> than we do. <laughs> I love, like, it's so insane. And Guys were like, hey, you're wrong. Hillary Clinton isn't just a murderer. <laughs> <laughs> and that and that grounds me a little bit. I don't know. Like, here's the thing. Not knowing things versus not knowing things rarely actually affects um my life as it is right now. Mm-hmm. I'm not going yeah, to our lives are very low stakes. We don't influence policy. We have no children to raise oh, incorrectly. Fuck, man. When I have to raise children, it's I'm gonna have to like 
Oh God, because like when you're a kid, you ask a lot of questions, and um, it's not gonna be good. Yeah, <laughs> it's not gonna be good at all. Daddy, why is the sky blue? I don't know, but it is trying to hurt us. <laughs> <laughs> the sky is dangerous. <laughs> be so funny if you got your son up on your shoulders and ch- tried to make him like squint and see if he could see the pixels in the sky. <laughs> <laughs> Sweetie, everything's a hologram. Like, Daddy yeah. loves you, but it's all fake. <laughs> <laughs> that is going to be really funny when my <laughs> when 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 my wife dies. Uh-huh. Uh in, during childbirth and then my my ch- son or daughter or whatever asks me where mommy went. I'm just like she escaped. <laughs> She's <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where she's right now, but I can only hope to God that one day yeah. we join her in the real world. Her um, her files were deleted. Her files were deleted. She's 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 running through the through the mm-hmm. techno gamut right now, and we will join her one day. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude! Dude, we gotta have kids. We have to have kids. They're not gonna do well. No. Yeah, you and I each with a son. That would be good. I think. I don't know. I, I'd be too afraid. Like we could have a a little. A little tiny podcast, small microphones. You want just like a Russian doll thing of podcasts? Yeah, they're over there, you know, on the other side of the room, right? And they're doing their own little. I don't. Yeah, I, I don't want to. No, see, this is that's like <laughs> stage mommy. That's I don't want my son <laughs> to just do what I do. Yeah, our kids are probably gonna like want to play football despite us. That would, I'd be, it's gonna be the opposite of us with our dads. You know what though? I'd be cool with that. Yeah, that'd be cool. That'd be fine. I I would I would very much like truthfully like when I think about like. I would I I wouldn't want to make the mistake cuz uh, dude I watched this comic on my Facebook who uh he named his daughter after a character from the movie's Alien. Can't be doing that. Can't be doing that. N- it's your damn daughter. <laughs> you have some obligation not to give her Yeah. A- your daughter is not a nerd. You don't just get to ma- you no it, she's like an extension of their nerdiness. And so the only thing he's showing her is like from a young age he's showing this little girl like Doctor Who all this stuff and it's like she just she loves it. It's crazy. Like we let her pick. We took her to she's going to a religious uh, uh, preschool, and you know, on the ride home, she said something about Darth Vader instead of Jesus. So she's making her own decisions. It's like, dude, you MK ultraed your baby into <laughs> being a nerd. You like, you completely brainwashed her. It sucks. From from the, t- imagine if you named your daughter just after something that you liked. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just just a character in something that you. That's heinous. It should yeah, be. Yeah. It should be a mantle that's passed down. Can't do that. Um, that's why I'm going to name my son uh, my own name. That is better. And, uh, you know, like in a, a, with a fucking number on the end, that's badass, dude. <laughs> that is weird also. Yeah. You're right. <laughs> I guess there's no clean way to do this. <laughs> what, if I yeah. beca- what if I'm becoming like someone who's trans where I'm just like, uh, names are oppressive. You can't decide what my name is. <laughs> I could, yeah, I I could don't fully know. go down that road. I hate my name. Names are oppressive. We should be able to change them. Um, also, dicks aren't real. That's going to be my new uh, trans belief is uh, I just think genitalia isn't real. Yeah. It's like, have you ever really looked down there? And, like, <laughs> I'm not, look, not knocking anyone who's trans by at all. That's not what I mean. Mm-hmm. I don't I don't want that to be misconstrued. Um, It's just, I don't know. Like, when it, when everything is, like, Go on. <laughs> I'm trying to. <laughs> when everything becomes subjective, it's just like, what are what are what are the fucking what are the rules for anything? And and but also like do whatever the fuck. I don't care. I, I literally truly do not care if someone wants to even like if someone even wants to dress up as a cartoon dog, right? Mm-hmm. And go to the grocery store. Just don't think that it's weird when people think that it's weird. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. You don't know. You're a little harder on this than I am. On what? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought you were saying, I don't know. I thought you were saying, I don't know if anyone should do whatever they want. Oh, okay. I was just saying, like, I don't know, as in, I don't have anything to add to yeah, this we shouldn't. Topic. we shouldn't add anything to this topic. <laughs> <laughs> so how was your day? It was good. <laughs> <laughs> Think any uh, hot takes about trans people? Yeah, I just did that. Um, oh, sorry. I don't even think we're that's moving a, away. I don't even think it's a hot take. I, that is like a gen. That is genuinely something I think about. Just like, will we ever reach? Will we reach a point? Because I almost get like, 
when I do think about like, oh yeah, you're just like named after your father and the father before. Will we reach like a post name? Because because I guess all identity is somewhat imposed <laughs> upon you without your choice, right? <laughs> this is like, such I'm a <laughs> Joe Rogan ass topic. Like, <laughs> are we gonna reach the point where we don't have names? Jamie, pull that up. I'm just. <laughs> I, I mean, I am like, because look, it's like on some level, yes, I do think it's reached it, it, it it's reached a ridiculous degree, but also it's like yeah, all the fact that all identity is like impressed upon you without any input is like that's also something to fucking think about yeah it is weird like my parents named me brendan which is like a very irish name Mm -hmm. you're italian yeah and uh i'm italian baby you know i'm basically tony soprano in many ways i hate my fucking name dude. (laughs) i hate mine i don't even think it's spelled right it's spelled very wrong because i've never found another and like because here's the thing all right well no except i'm named after my uncle who was adopted so i guess um, they spelled it that way yeah, I mean, you, yours is spelled the same way as, like, Santa Claus. No, his is actually spelled with the C-H. Oh, really? Yeah, it's Saint Nick. I mean, I think maybe in some countries it's not, but... In, like, German, I think. Cause I... Well, so it'll be... Sp- so here's the thing. Even names that are N-I-K, it'll be N-I-K-O-L-A-S. I have a fucking extra U. I've, I'm N-I-K-O-L... Nicolaus. I'm Nicolaus. Yeah. It's not Nicholas. It's definitely not, but we mm-hmm. went, we go with Nicholas. This is definitely like the Russian Jew way to say, to spell your name. I am in. I'm not. I guess I am Jewish, but we didn't know that. <laughs> you didn't know it at the, the time. DNA test, you know. Yeah, yeah. I just I bum out old men all the time because they're like old men will be like, oh, Brendan, are you good Irish? Because old men who are Irish are super fucking into that shit, right? And then I have to be like, oh, no, I'm fucking and Dago. Then they're just fucking. They think that I'm lying, dude. Mix, and I'm ashamed. Let me tell you, Mix and Dagos hate each other. They do. There's a lot of fighting. I have a constant war within me. <laughs> Are you a part Irish as well? No. Just, okay. just the name. <laughs> you gotta fight these Irishmen, dude. I do. If you're Irish and you want to fucking square off and fucking fight me, and slide into the DMs. And are over the age of 60. You have to be over the age of 60. I want an old, alcoholic, fucking Sacco and Vanzetti era <laughs> ass Irish dude, and I'm gonna fucking level you, dog. <laughs> <laughs> it would be so funny if you just started beating the shit out of old men, like just for real, exclusively old Irish. It would take. I feel like people don't think about white ethnicity enough that it would take people like a while. <laughs> well, that's a weird sense. I want, oh my god, this is. A, I want that to be the new t- poll line for the book. People don't think about white ethnicity enough, Brendan. Crick. <laughs> No, but I mean they don't think they don't think about it enough that like I would have to beat up probably five or six old men for people to realize I was only going after Irish dudes. Oh, that's first true. they'd just be like, "Why is he beating up old men?" And yeah. then they'd be like, "I guess they're white men." And and they'd like, be like, "I guess that's good." Are they all Irish? <laughs> you might actually come out a hero for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Irish and Italians; those are the two most recent whites. You know. Yeah. If there was a string, if I heard about a string of old white men getting beat up by a small crusader, I'd be like, wow, they probably had too much power. <laughs> <laughs> they had to go balance the scales. Yeah, yeah. I I am a vigilante, but I only fight the old. That's great. Well, that's who's bad. That's who's, yeah, yeah. That's who's evil. I mean, that's, um, you can get a certain population of people to say that I'm making the world better like like if i only fought boomers people would be like well he's allowed to murder yeah you gotta murder <laughs> the boomers dude <laughs> they're ruining the planet <laughs> oh these fires man i know it's funny because like like six months ago i'd go on twitter and people were like the world is literally on fire i'd be like shut up and like, now like, like yeah the president's bad but shut the fuck up and now i just i i just wake up in the morning and i yawn and i I open my shades and it's all fire. And then I close like, the shades. And I, I go back to bed. <laughs> they, they, dude, like I really, they really might like, they might get close to the city. The city, I don't know, but like that'd be pretty funny. It would be, it would be so funny if like literally, it would be actually kind of sick if all of the entertainment industry burned to the ground, kind of like Sodom and Gomorrah. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't know what the connection would be, but <laughs> and then it just like, and then it just like moved somewhere. Uh, way fucking cooler mm-hmm. like like what if the film i mean i guess it's hard because like you you need like the warm climate but like it'd be so sick if if like hollywood just like moved to like philly or maryland i mean that's the fantasy Maybe yeah, New yeah. Orleans. it'd be cool not to to philly New i cannot go back don't go back to philly all right <laughs> not i hope not fucking arizona arizona sucks maryland would be nice maryland would be maryland. what about harrisburg yeah the entire 
film industry moves to Harrisburg. It could work out. I mean, that would really fuck things up for your family. They wouldn't be able to live there anymore. They'd probably <laughs> build the Warner Brothers lot right on top of your house. Yeah, no, but we're like an hour and a half away. It'd be fine. Okay, Plus, yeah. you know, then I moved to Hollywood. Uh, I fucking use my connections at the Harrisburg Comedy Zone. Then I'm the biggest uh, comedian in town. It's going to be sick when, like, 90% of all the actors die in the laser fires, and then they need us. Yeah, yeah. They need the Coward Hour. They're like, fuck, everyone hot died. Brendan. <laughs> Brendan you're kind of funny. You'll do. Yeah. <laughs> we can we can make you, we have tricks to make you tall like Tom Cruise. Mm-hmm. Th- yeah, that would be funny to make a movie where I'm taller than everybody else, like, force perspective. That's, uh, we just fucking Peter Jackson me into being a regular yeah, man. The the bench is, like, 20 feet long. <laughs> yeah. You're, you're, like, talking to a girl from a literal building's length away. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, these are my tricks that I do on my dates. Yeah. Is uh, everything I'm wearing is an optical illusion, the pattern on the shirt is scaled down. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, do, do do the shirts get like narrower as they or something? Like, is there <laughs> like a? Well, um, like the buttons are actually smaller. Um, oh, the that's collars smart. are smaller. The the placket on the shirt, the the r- the collars on the wrist. That's smart. Everything's scaled down. The pocket is is tiny. You should bring your own tiny silverware to the restaurant. You're right. I should. You should totally do I that. I should bring a tiny knife and fork. I should bring a smaller meal, like one of those, one of those, like you know, those Japanese cute, like tiny meals. Oh yeah, what are they called? People tweet out. Yeah, yeah. I'm just, I'm just eating that. <laughs> I have like a burger the size of a grain of rice, and I'm like, I'm very big, <laughs> dude. You will fucking. Her mind is gonna be. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just completely rocked. We're sitting at some kind of fucked up trapezoid table. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. It's got to be like this weird, like forced perspective. And you're <laughs> you're raised up. the The table's at like a seventy degree angle or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Everyone in the restaurant is like hired. I I hire only dwarves to sit at the other seats. It would be great if you could just like Jamie Kennedy experiment in your life, but just for good dates. Mm-hmm. Like you don't broadcast it anywhere. You just. <laughs> You just create these. I just create huge scenarios. These to, houses to, of illusion to trick poor women. Dude, that's awesome. Yeah, I haven't tricked a woman in a while. That's good. That is great. <laughs> <laughs> that's very good. No, I mean that sounds devious, but I mean right, dating. There, there's there's there's, all, a, there's it's trickery. Yeah, there's an uh, there's an amount of trickery. You know, it's like uh, oh, man. like like ideally there'd be none, but I mean the FDA says there can be so much bugs in cereal. You know, you gotta have some. You have to have some. Tri- I mean, <laughs> in the sense that, like, no one is, no one, no one shows their full deck on a day, right? Like, it's true. You're presenting your your better self, and mm-hmm. there's there's no way that it can both sides. Are, For right? example, if I was on a date and a girl raised the topic of perhaps podcasts, I would say nothing. It's a very good move. I would say nothing, and I would change the subject. Dude, I feel weird even having promoted this the little bit that I did with our new photos. <laughs> <laughs> I post. I think I might take it out of my profile picture description. Ah, why? <laughs> I'm, dude, my fucking... I don't want my aunts and uncles listening to this. Yeah, well, you told them not to. Because I think they think... Because here's the thing. Everyone in my family does think that I'm kind of smart, right? Like mm-hmm. they, Which is nice. Like they, and then they'll listen to this. And then they'll like, listen to this hmm. and just be like... And w- if my family finds out that I just full on, and again, I don't believe them, but I entertain them. If I full on like entertain these weird like Rockefeller Rothschild like <laughs> everything's connected conspiracy theories, Nick, you're gonna lose the whole listener base if you say that you don't believe those things. So you better double down, my friend. I d- I think they're certainly interesting, and uh, and I d- <laughs> and I d- I don't disbelieve them. Right? Mm-hmm. There's there's too many pieces that connect to each other. But yeah. Too many pieces. Also, Mothman's real. Moth- is he is he involved in it? Mothman is definitely real. The Jersey Devil is not, but Mothman is definitely real. Which sucks because the Jersey Devil is so fucking cool. The Jersey Devil is cool, but it's definitely there are so many there are so many cryptids where I'm just like fuck off. Like the Spring Heel Jack, fuck off. It's not real. <laughs> Mothman, he was on he was there on the bridge that day in uh, West Virginia. Yeah, Point Pleasant. Right? Yeah, yeah. He's so real, dude. And he'll come back because he loves us. Well, he might not. He might actually. It's so interesting. I watched this three-hour documentary called "The Eyes of the Mothman." It's not very well made, but it's 
And I think I've seen this. It's so well researched. And in the beginning, they, they posit all the things that the Mothman could be. And one, but one of the first things they talk about this the this leader. This is something I for sure know about the Indians. There was a leader of an Indian tribe named Cornstalk. Very funny. It's like, mm-hmm. good guys, don't just. Did I mean I know? I we're getting back. <laughs> did you let us name him? Yeah, exactly. Like <laughs> that. <laughs> Indian names feel like. Yeah, we should back it's like, off. All right, y'all Smurfs now. <laughs> it's, you know, but anyway, uh, yeah, the, and and so they they posit this thing. Why do we talk about Indians on every single episode? <laughs> we don't know anything about. We them. have a lot of questions, but so it's okay this, to have questions. So I guess like Cornstalk, uh, his tribe was killed in some battle, and so there was a theory, and that he put a curse over the land, or like he declared that he put a curse over the land, and mm-hmm. they just kind of like. That's in, like, the beginning of the documentary. And then the rest of the documentary is about, like, the men in black and, like, UFOs and the Mothman. And, like, at the end of this, like, exhaustive three-hour documentary, and it's talking about, like, the men in black presence disappeared. It's, like, Mothman injured cold. All these extraterrestrial sightings just stopped. Um, and then at the very tail end, it's like, or maybe it was old corn stock <laughs> 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 Manipulating things from beyond the grave. <laughs> Damn, you just gave me a hard Joanna Man flashback with that. <laughs> or maybe I think that I, I should bring that bet. That's a great. Bit. I'm gonna explain the bit, and uh, as I do that, we will learn if it was uh, good or not. It's a great bit. I used to do this old bit. It was like ten minutes long. <laughs> it was so long. We're basically, just I heard a car drive by, and someone yelled at the other guy in the car, "Jesus Christ, would you stop talking about goddamn Joanna Man?" And then I used to have this like ten minute long bit where I would go through different scenarios so of what led them to that point in the night, and uh, I don't think it would work right now. But I every I don't think it'd work anymore. But every new scenario, you'd be like, or maybe <laughs> it's just so funny. <laughs> by the by, the fourth or fifth one, it's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, That's I don't think I've bit. done that in like three or four years. I I remember telling people that joke. <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird, like what you did early that. People found impressive. I think that's one of your best. <laughs> I do. Where would I even do it here? I would have to go to the Ha Ha Cafe and pay ten dollars. You could. Do, I bet you could do that shit at Flappers or like the fucking. I bet. I feel like people would actually like that bit a lot. I feel like that's because <laughs> here's why. This is, don't take this the wrong way. Mm-hmm. It does almost feel like an old alt hack bit. It does. Which would do very... But it's actually funny. It just feels like that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Also, we're in Hollywood now, so it, it's very funny to me the idea that. Either, like, it's not impossible that Miguel A. Nunez Jr. could be at Flappers. Oh, Miguel A. Nunez. And see the bit. I'm sure that he's sulking around this town somewhere. <laughs> some dark bar. <laughs> it would he's be, my roommate. We have to get him on the cast. Yeah, yeah, we need to get Miguel. If you know Miguel A. Nunez Jr. Jr. Jum- good old. Old Jumer. <laughs> That's what I call him, you know, because we're friends. Jumies. Um, I call him that because... um. Another man whose name was passed down. Uh, well, let's see. Why do I call him Schumer? Uh, I'm taking too long with Riff. I was trying to think of something that rhymed with... Hmm. I mean, you're going to have to go... There's only one way out of this. You have to make some reference to the Jews. Yeah, you know, um, I was hanging out with my good pal, Miguel A. Nunez Jr., <laughs> and I, uh, I, I said, how do you feel about the, the Jews as a people or as a religion? And <laughs> and they're and by the way they're both, and um, he just went like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> he made it like a Pat Oswalt sound, just yeah. right, mm-hmm. you know, put them together, and that's my Jumer. best friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. well, so, you know, that's what I called him in my best man speech. You did a very good job. I'm gonna say that not easy to get out of what you <laughs> just got out. of <laughs> <laughs> you fucking dug like hell, dude. Mm-hmm. That was a strong three out of ten riff. You really did that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's okay. People, uh, they're constantly writing to me. They're saying, "Brendan, we listen to your podcast, and you're so quick." Uh, <laughs> yeah, your riffs are usually pretty good. <laughs> yeah, they're usually usually pretty good. My brain is betraying me because uh, the the they won't give me medicine. So you're gonna get. I have. You're gonna get that medicine. I know. Yeah. Just uh, you know, when you're very depressed. Uh, your ADD gets much worse. Oh, does it? Yeah, yeah. You have ADD? Mm-hmm. I didn't know that. I mean, it's hard to say, really. Who does? They gave me the medicine. I don't know if I have it or not. Yeah, I feel like you wouldn't have been getting... I feel. I thought, although maybe that's a myth. I remember learning that in health class. I think my, I think the problem with health class, that health class is um, they're just like fucking librarians that they make teach a class. Because <laughs> re- they were like... Uh, I remember Mrs. Lippincott being like, 
actually, if you have attention deficit disorder, then, uh, you know, ADD medicine or, or any sort of um, stimulant will not have that effect. It'll have the opposite effect. It'll make you calm. And I'm like, I don't think that that, I don't think that, like, Coke makes anyone calm. Yeah, yeah, that, that is what they said, and it never made any <laughs> sense. It doesn't make any sense at all. They're like, because she was like, well, because your brain, when you have ADD, you're, it's like your brain is already on a stimulant. And it's like, lady, no. I don't think these cancel each other out. Not at all. It's like, listen, if you already have a hard ass dick and you take Viagra, it'll make your dick it'll soft. It'll make your dick fuck. soft. That's that doesn't make that any works. sense. And I'll prove it. <laughs> 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 no, I can't. My dick doesn't get that hard. You should start taking little blue pills, dude. For what? Making to jack off? Yeah. <laughs> you owe it to yourself. No, nah, no, nah, I can still come. It's just that my dick is soft by the time it's coming out. Jesus Christ, man, that's really sad. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not. It's cool, you know? Why? <laughs> <laughs> um, it's cool because, uh, you know, it's like I have a hidden talent. No, it's not. <laughs> I don't understand why it's. Why is it like you have a hidden talent? The boy who can come soft? Wow. All right. <laughs> My dick, when I come, it looks like when you you're like walking on the sidewalk and you like step on a caterpillar and all the caterpillar shoots out on oh one end. Oh my god! <laughs> That's what my dick is like when I come. That sucks, dude. I'm so sorry. Yeah, you know it's fine. My dick looks like a smashed caterpillar. It does. That is so funny. In many ways, it looks like that. I feel so bad when I do that to caterpillars. <laughs> it I doesn't used, feel good, man. I used. To, I'm such a fucking lunatic when i was still living at this place in the morning in march a lot of there will be a lot of snails outside i tried to save the snails every morning <laughs> so i was walking around with like 20 snails in my hands and then if i stepped on one i was just fucked for the day i like couldn't live with myself <laughs> save the snails from what getting fucking stepped on they were just like in the road on the sidewalk and you'd see them all smashed and crushed i tried to put them in the grass <laughs> damn well that's nice of you I when like I was a kid, we used to, um, the pond would freeze over, and the fish would, like, freeze on the top of the pond, and we would go around with sticks <clears throat> and smash them. What the fuck is wrong with you? I don't know. We were kids. That's not, I, I hate that. I hate whenever kids, it's not good, no, I mean, you shouldn't do it, but. I hate when kids kill animals and be like, ah, oh, we're just, you know. No, the animals were dead. They were dead fish. Oh, it, okay, okay. It was okay. winter. We just smashed the dead fish. You're right, you're right. That's fine. I, I remember I came home and I told my mom this, and she got real upset. I guess just because it was gross? No, she was like, you can't do that. And I'm like, but they're dead. And she, we eat them. And uh, she had to like go into another room with my dad to regroup to oh explain God, why dude, I can't do it. You just fucking outwitted your mom. <laughs> <laughs> you complete. You demolished her fragile ass brain <laughs> that you have now inherited. And then she came back and she basically gave me like a slippery slope argument where it's like, what the fuck is? She's like, if you and your friends think it's fun to, to like fuck up dead fish, then you're gonna you're you're gonna get like a taste, and then you're gonna want to start killing live fish. Mm. I was like, I don't I don't think that's gonna happen. I don't <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. But and then she's just like, don't do it. I guess it's it's only okay to kill live fish if you do it with the right equipment. Yeah, you gotta have a hook. Yeah, but look at the... But I mean, anytime I would go fishing with my dad, I would fuck up those fish just because I was an idiot. Yeah. So I, like, I'd, I'd hook, and then I'd try to reach the hook out, and I would just... I'd, I'd, I was, I'd be like 10, so I'd accidentally just fucking yank the hook completely through the oh, fish. Oh, this is making me sad. Then just throw it back in. There's blood everywhere. This is making me really sad. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's hard, man. It's, I, I have the same thing with, like, I love crabs in maryland but like you have to you have to cook them while they're alive and i'm just like it's soft shell crabs are the worst mm -hmm. because they're they're really fuck like you eat them kind of alive a little bit like Wait. i mean no i guess they're not i guess like when you put them when you fry the breading on them they're still alive but i don't know man wow that's fucked up it it freaks me out yeah i tried to make a lobster once um oh i can't you can't be doing that yeah yeah it was um i was probably like 18 my parents went away for a week <laughs> You just got yourself a lobster? I just got myself a lobster <laughs> at, home? at home, and I tried to make it. So I went to the grocery store because I, wor I worked at the grocery store, and uh, you, you were know, just like I'd always be reading up those lobsters. They'd be fucking scuttling around. I'd like one day. I imagine you putting on a little tuxedo and be like, I'm having myself a night. <laughs> like I'm pretty water. sure I like cut. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I drank all my dad's like IPAs. And just, like, <laughs> like threw up lobster. Um, that is so just funny. a big piece of shit. Oh, I remember this. Okay, 
pin in this, or my, uh, I'll get to this point in the story. Yeah. Um, but uh, okay. So I get the lobster, and I get this like big soup pot from the storage room. Yeah. And I I boil the water, and I'm like, ar- I'm looking up instructions. It's like make sure the water is really boiling, so that the lobster, when you put it in head first, will instantly die and feel no pain. Oh my god. So I'm like, okay, so I'm boiling. I think it's boiling pretty good. But it's it's like a big pot. I don't know. Maybe it wasn't boiling enough. Were there? Was it bubbling? Were there? It was bubbling. How much? Apparently not enough. Oh my god. So I get the lobster, and I fucking. It says like dip in the head so it instantly dies, and I do that. It instantly freaks out. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't like that. It's, it's feeling so much pain, so it it jumps out of my hands. <gasps> oh fuck, dude! Directly into the pot, and then I just have to watch it die over like. 20 minutes oh my god it took 20 minutes it took so long dude because like you know how if you're oh. if you're kind of like like if you're making an easy mac and you get it boiling a little bit and then you pour the pasta in and it stops boiling i wouldn't be able to eat it yeah well it it wasn't a fun meal after that i wouldn't be able to fuck it like but oh. you know i uh, i anesthetized myself with alcohol and and i ate my friend i also uh, <laughs> i'm also pretty sure that's a lie. Like I'm pretty sure lobsters are always alive when you always hear them when you cook them. Well, I think isn't that supposed to be the air escaping the shell? It's not it screaming. Or maybe they no, just No, I say think that. it's like clanging on shit and Oh yeah, yeah. It fucking it wants to get out of that pot. It doesn't want to I mean nobody wants to die. Dude, this like th- again, like for as much as I like I'm I'm so at war with myself because when I really start thinking about meat and all this stuff, I'm like I should be a fucking vegan because it <laughs> bothers me. It does bother me a lot. Yeah, yeah, it is pretty fucked up. But I also love little chicken nuggies. Chicken nuggies are good. Oh, so anyway, um, that was the night um, where I uh, I got so drunk that I I had like combo browning out drunk sleep paralysis. Which, let me tell you. Yeah, tell me. That is hell. So I I wake up and I think I see someone in the hallway. So I follow him out there. No. <laughs> You don't follow. I don't know why I did this. So I follow the shadow out into the hallway, and then I pass my little brother's room, and I look in there, and what do I see is me hanging. Holy shit, dude. <laughs> I can't believe that, like, I guess you think I, I just think I've just had, like, many horrifying I, but I can't, I guess, visions. I, my... I guess for you, you have to, like, rationalize the sleep paralysis. Because if I had this many, like, vivid, vi- I mean, I've had some vivid vision. We've talked about this mm-hmm. in earlier episodes. But I can't believe you're not like more, uh, more into like the spiritual shit. No, because I mean, if I believed any of this was real, dear God, that would be worse. That would be right. so much worse. Oh my God, you saw yourself hanging. Yeah, yeah. As I'm like crawling on the floor to like get, because I I don't. And the thing is, I looking back on it, I don't know if I ever actually left my bed. Right. Exactly. No. Totally. Mm-hmm. I did throw up a lot though. When were they coming home? Like days from then. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, that used to be really fun when like when you just get fucked up and they come home and you're like, ooh, <laughs> this is like a, a fun little stunt I'm doing. <laughs> I would. I remember doing that like my parent when I was 18. I had a job, and so when my parents would go on vacation during the summer. I had to stay there, but it really was just like I, I'm loading up on like Totino's. I'm, I had the Mr. Show DVDs. My friends would come over, and then I d- I on I like I actually. Never had a lot of parties at my house. I was I was fairly good throughout high school, but once I was out, like we had some <laughs> fucking crazy parties at my house, and I would just like, I would just throw up on all the towels. <laughs> I would just throw up on all the bath towels. <laughs> and Throwing then, like, up is so funny. And then like wouldn't clean that. Like there were like chunks of like, I don't remember what I ate, but I remember in the morning I was like, did I eat pineapple? Because it looks like there's chunks of like weird pineapple over the towels. And then I just forgot. I was lazy. I forgot to clean them, so they were just like in. The washer and I never ran it, so like my <laughs> parents, ca- my parents came over at the end of the week. My mom and she, and of course they find like the puked on towels, and I was just like, ah, that was it was uh, Paul's girlfriend. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's like that's better. It's just it was someone else. Yeah, so a stranger that you've never heard of. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty funny. So bad, man. Man, I'm looking back on it until I fucking hallucinated. Like my own death and entered hell. That was a great night. I think I, I think I watched Orange Is the New Black for the first time. So I don't know what year that came out. What's well, that on? Like season six or whatever. You wouldn't have been eighteen when that came out because I must I, have been twenty or something. I was twenty, I think, when it came. Yeah. 
So I watched, uh, because I've been hearing about it, I watched Orange is the New Black. I saw... um, First season was pretty good. Yeah, yeah. I saw the girl's tits from that 70s show. Yeah. And then I just, I ate like three dinners. I just kept drinking beer. I, you know, I ate my lobster. And then I ate my leftovers from the dinner my parents took me to before I left. And then I ate my dad's leftovers. So I I ate just probably like like 3,000 calories that night. And then I just drank craft beer. Yeah. No wonder I had weird dreams. Dude, I remember being, I remember like when I first started making my own money, even in high school, I would just every Friday night, I would just order an entire large pizza from Pizza Hut by myself, which I couldn't eat all of, but I would eat it all of it anyway with the breadsticks and the wings until I was like groaning in pain, <laughs> groaning in pain. But part of the reason why I did that, dude, this is back when I could do that. I could eat that entire meal. I would go downstairs, I'd sleep on the couch, at, like pizza commercials would come on and I'd be like, oh, like... <laughs> <laughs> Which is a f- you like it's 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 like being on it's like being hung over like being on bad drugs it's that mm-hmm. it's, it <laughs> yeah would, when you eat so much that you get hung over I feel hung over sometimes now just from sweets and I have not had a drink in th- like three years I, I seriously would compare it to like like a like having too much of a substance like and which is funny because I didn't do any drugs or drink back then but later when I like you know would be <laughs> I I was like oh this is like when I have a lot of pizza. <laughs> Um, <laughs> what chemicals do you think are in Pizza Hut where you're just like fucking having a bad in trip? In a K hole, you just you <laughs> eat so much pizza, you're in a K hole. <laughs> but it, but I would do that, and I would I would gain no weight. And now I'm like I'm working out again, which feels really good. But I can't get rid of like this little pouch that I have. It's very small, but it's still like a pouch. Mm-hmm. I just I remember when my stomach was flat, no matter what I would eat, and I'm just like, how I took that for granted. I know I wasn't even fucking. I was just a scrawny little. I wasn't even working out back then. I just looked like a girl. Yeah, what sucks is like, like I was looking at a photo of myself from like two years ago, mm-hmm. and I was like, damn, I could get in that shape again. And then I compared my face now to then. I'm like, well, I can't. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I can't de-age my face now. <laughs> Have you ever tried moisturizing with stuff? I am moisturizing, Nick, and it still looks bad. <laughs> there, I mean, that, it doesn't look that bad. Yeah, I know. I just it don't really look doesn't. young and hip. I, I'm starting to notice. I've been looking in the mirror, and I'm just been like, because I used to curse always looking like I was 16, and I've been looking in the mirror, and I'm like, oh, fuck, I think I'm finally starting to look older. Yeah, you are. And, that's, and I'm going to miss it when I don't look this, when I don't look young anymore. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it is funny... That's why I have, like, it's certainly a funny bit to have, like, a mustache and, like, a, a weird Anton Chigurh-type haircut and a leather jacket. It's fun to be a villain. Yeah. Wait, I, are you saying I should do that? No, I'd say that's what I'm presently doing. Oh, you don't have an Anton Chigurh haircut? It's getting, the, it'll get there. Your hair's too curly, too, like, wavy for that. You have nice hair. Yeah, but I, it's the, it's it's gone back too far that when it's long, it looks. Is your hairline receding? Yeah, yeah. Oh no! Looks sort of uh, avuncular. <laughs> 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 yeah, you don't have to. You don't just, have to give me real sympathy I'm just for finding that. Finding out about your body, it's like, yeah, you know, I have bad skin. My hands, I'm like, no, Brendan. <laughs> <laughs> Why did the hairline bum you out more than I come soft? I mean that too. I take all. Yeah, of this I ejaculate being... dick fully soft, and I don't even. I don't. I don't feel. I. I. You don't even. I it. don't orgasm. I only come. Is I just jack off and then I lose steam at some Dude. point in it, and then I come, but I don't get to feel the orgasm. What is keeping you alive? <laughs> Genuinely, what is keeping you alive? Ah, uh, I don't know. Oh boy, we got okay. We we journeyed a little too deep. All right, we'll, yeah. Don't ask back. me that. We'll pull back. Hold on. Where's my fucking? All right, let me get my safety plan. <laughs> Step one: know the warning signs. Many suicide attempt <laughs> survivors indicate <laughs> that their suicidal thinking became almost automatic over time. When something negative occurred, they start to have negative thoughts. These thoughts include, nobody cares about me. I can't take it anymore. I wish I were dead. These warning signs... Oh, people care about you. Thank you. ...can include personal situations, thoughts, images, things, styles, moods, or behaviors, and can help me use it. What triggers your suicidal thoughts? Let's see, what did I write? Um, I, f- I fully forgot that you had... I, I wouldn't <laughs> have asked what was keeping you alive. <laughs> All right, let's, let's put that away. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> I was just trying to be funny. It felt like a snappy thing to say. Nah, no, nah, it's okay. I'm going to get my pills once the fucking state stops. The, I assume this is the deep state that keeps it moving is, my appointment it's around. The deep, yeah. 
Hillary Clinton, please let me have my pills. How fucked would it be if the, the, the places they kept referring you to were getting shot by the fire laser? Like, every time <laughs> they gave you a new reference, it was just like, sorry, Brandon, it's it's completely burned to the ground. <laughs> it's it's burned earth. to the ground. The, the doctor who was going to help you is just bones now. The doctor is a puddle. <laughs> For, uh, a puddle can't write a damn prescription. I know. It, the, the pad would get wet. It would get, it would, it would get wet. <laughs> I'm just saying, man, cars shouldn't turn into puddles from forest fires. Those are some interesting photos. But I don't know what th- what should happen from forest fires. Cause, I mean, like, just a car on fire, that's that's one. It's You're right. It's not as hot as being surrounded by fire. Yeah, I think. But, I mean, when you're on the road, why is it surrounded by fire? There's no trees in the middle of the road. It's not like they parked it in the woods. Well, I, I, th- I do think that the heat from... Because even if, like... You'd be amazed at how how m- much like heat will like spread how how you how far you'll be from a source of fire and still feel it hit your face. So mm-hmm. I do think that the air probably heats up uh, even if it's not like rightly directly like next to. We gotta r- record a pod in the fire. That would be actually pretty fucking sick. That'd be pretty fun, honestly. Mm-hmm. R- us running through the fire with the Tascam <laughs> with the fucking Tascam. But yeah. the, and th- and if the Tascam doesn't melt, we'll know that a laser was afoot. It's true. Plus, I'd, I bet we get a nice chocolatey tone on the mic. Oh, the crackling? Just yeah, like just yeah. Bl- oh, the, dude, we gotta we have to go visit the fires. We gotta go find the fires. Neil Young's house is gone again. Damn, damn, dude. That's wild. <laughs> Coming up on an hour. You got any plugs, Nick? Um. Yeah, listen to me on. I just did another episode of Reasonable Beef, uh, Tim Kish's podcast. We reviewed the movie Overlord. Uh, I did not like it, um, but it was a good app. If you like movies, it's good to listen to. Um, and I guess, yeah, I've already. I'll be at Flappers for ten dollar Tuesday on the twentieth. I don't think any of you guys live in L.A., but if you do, come out. I'll hang out with you. Fuck yeah, yeah, and that's it. Um, we just put out a new video. Oh, that's right. And we're probably gonna put out another new video this weekend. Yeah. So, um, watch Cursed Jeb's Auto. It's one minute long. And then we got some good stuff cooking for you We got guys. some good stuff cooking. Um, also, please go on iTunes and rate us five stars, because I've never asked anyone to do that yet. Yeah, and, and, and I leave think that's important. Leave some reviews. Yeah, subscribe to us on iTunes. If you're finding us through Podbean, make sure you subscribe on iTunes. Leave us some reviews. We'd love to read the feedback. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll be at Flappers on the 25th, and... On the 28th, I'll be at the Pack Theater for Dating is Hard, uh, which is a very fun show hosted by Joe Welke, who we know and is funny. Yeah. Um, also, if you have any pills... <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> any illegal doctors who listen to this podcast. <laughs> any illegal doctors who want to hook me up with non-recreational pills. Like perhaps an SSRI <laughs> or... Um, I don't know. That's up to you. You're the doctor. But, um, <laughs> listen, I'm in the woods here. <laughs> I'm in the fucking... Buddy, mm-hmm. it's just a box. Remember what we talked about? <laughs> you just did a cardboard box. Just stand up. Mm. I just stood up, Nick. It's the, it's more box. Where, gra- w- look for your bootstraps and grab them. Ah, I have no shoes. Oh, well then you're fucked. All right, I guess you were right. All right. Only time I give a fuck is for my own release. That's why I own these streets. Straight up portfolio showing growth. Fuck a pay cut. Yeah, you know I stay slut. Catch me in the spot, lubing up for the self suck. Oh fuck, I busted already. I'm coming bucket so heavy. My dream of cream coming steady. Now my mouth open, I'm ready. I'm talking solo heavy petting on a Friday night. That talking bashing the bishop more like Nantucket's delight. I'm taking all the time I need to do it just right.